Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the long-awaited uh, version 2.0 of the Minecraft cartoon icon tutorial. This one, uh, before we get into it, is slightly more advanced than the first one, so if you struggle with this one and you haven't checked out the other one yet, uh, make sure you go and check out that one. Uh, second thing, before you ask me to make you one of these, um, there's two ways to get one. There's one, enter the giveaway, which is like a speed art thing, or two, go uh, to my website, which should be in my description, where you can order one, but that unfortunately costs, so if you can't afford that, uh, you can enter the giveaway, or you could even ask in the comment section for other people to do it, which a lot of people did in the other Minecraft cartoon icon tutorial, and it seemed to work out pretty good for a lot of people, so... This is a template link in the description. Um, it's through AdFly, so that means um, a page will pop up. Don't click anything on the page. Uh, if you look towards the top right, there'll be a little countdown, and then it says skip ad after the countdown's finished. Click skip ad, and it'll take you right to the download page. So that's how that works. Um, and yeah, and you download this, and you open it in Photoshop. This is a Photoshop tutorial. I do not know if this works in anything else. I doubt the template will work, so you're going to have a pretty hard time managing in any other software. Um, last time we had quite a few people that made a few tutorials using different programs, which is cool. So um, if people start doing that for this tutorial, I'll make sure I'll link them in the description. Uh, so yeah. Um, right, cool. I think we're done. So what you need to do is you need to download that, you need to open it up in Photoshop, and then you should be where I am right now, which is on this screen, it says made by Hershiko, yay. Um, so what you want to do is just delete that, click the little bin here, and yes, and then that should go away. Um, this uh, is your background, it looks a little weird, but just, just be cool with it. That is the actual background of like the face and stuff, this bit, uh, and then this is obviously the outline of the drawing of the man and the stuff and shit. So yeah, that's that's everything you need to know about the template. So what we need to do is we need to get a skin. We need to get like a little icon of a skin that you're drawing, whether it be yours, one that's just on your computer, or one of your friends. So we need to go to this website, which is um, www.minecraft. Uh, line skin line viewer net it'll be in the description I'll make sure I link it and it comes up with this uh, this was just default on mine I don't know if that's just random or if it's default by default um, I suppose but you can either search your username in there it doesn't always work for example my skin says it is Steve uh, and I don't think it is but maybe it is it's just bugged out uh, so yeah, so for this tutorial, I'm just going to use this, which is just a default generic random person. Um, so yeah, this is just a dude, I guess. Uh, you don't really have to do anything with this. Um, this just changes how arms and things are on it. You can just see his face, that's all you need, really. Uh, and you can just copy image, uh, file file can we go file yes we can there we go file new my computer is running a little bit slow because I'm recording and it's just a pain in the ass lately but there's nothing much I can do about it unfortunately um, so yeah anyways I'll load up control and V should paste it right in there it's even got a little www.cubenation.d which is not the website I've just used but oh well. So now we've got a little reference point and you can go ahead and close the tinter webs. Now you've done all your downloading of the thing and you've got your skin. That's all you need from internet wise, which is good. Um, another thing, I am using a drawing pad, but it is not essential really that you use a drawing pad. It's just an extra thing. You can do this with a mouse, it doesn't matter if it's not neat, really. This tutorial is made so people who can't necessarily draw good can have a good go at this and it can still look pretty good. That's the idea of it. That's why I've learned how to do this because I kind of sucked at drawing. 
so I needed a roundabout way of sorting it out so this is what I come up with and now I'm sharing it with you guys uh, so yeah that's that's that I guess uh, so what I like to do is select a blue color uh, make sure you create a new layer which is this icon here uh, and then just make sure it's at the top the new layer is right at the top there I should put I'll label these actually and so yours will be labeled uh, these bits uh, so you can if you want call that uh, draft drawing draft drawing is that that's right there we go draft drawing uh, so there we go um what we then do is we do a draft drawing this can be really 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 messy it doesn't really matter honestly doesn't matter so we can see he's got hair he's got eyes he's got a mouth and he's just got a gray top on gray t-shirt short sleeves so we need to draw eyes mouth hair and stuff so we can start by just quickly sketching out some hair doesn't have to look too good as you can see it just looks a bit daft uh, it doesn't matter once it's over the black line you're not going to see that bit anyway because it's going to get filled in in black so you know that's just another tip there uh, pfft, these tips are flying out like no man's business so drawing the eyes just a rectangle but make sure you get a little bit of a curve on the side ones uh, because the whole face as you can see with this bit is slanted uh, so you can just sort of use that as a thing and once you've drawn one eye you can sort of cheat and just use this here the lasso tool uh, just draw around it um, and control C and control V and then there we go you've got an oh shit what the hell is this don't know that go away please shut it all right okay uh, so I need this, and then to put them next to each other probably could do with being resized a little bit. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, use the rubber on this just real quick. There's his eyes done. Uh, for noses, noses, noses. Uh, nothing too awkward. Sometimes I don't even draw a nose, but when I do, it's just something like that. You know, just keep trying until you get something that you like. Anything will do, really. There we go, that's a nose. It kind of looks like a really happy person as well. Um, but it's a nose. Uh, mouth, mouth, pff, I don't know. Sometimes I draw a tick and then just go like that. And it sometimes looks alright. That didn't. But, you know. Uh, there we go. That's That's, that's not bad. That's a mouth. Uh, probably could do a little bit better, actually. Uh, uh, and then just give it a little cheeky grin thing. Uh, right there. So, there we go. That is uh, the thing. That's the thing. Yeah, that is the thing. That's what that is. Uh, whew, this is really weird. But, yeah. That's his face. That's done. That's all it needs. Uh, eyes. It adds, actually does need eyes. So let's give it some eyes real quick. There we go. That's his eyes done. That's all it needs. Just some eyes. And then t-shirt. So that goes like that, I believe. And then like that. And then we can have it come down a little bit like that. Probably could do with moving along a little bit. But, you know... Like I say, this is just blue first draft. You don't have to take a long time on it. It's just to get the basic drawing of the character down and looking good. So there we go. That's your first little section complete. It should look pretty crap. Doesn't matter because like I keep saying, keep stressing to you, it's just the first draft. So make sure all these are flat if you did any copy and paste in like I did. Um... What I then do is create a new one and make this one black and then just change the opacity of that one to about 50, 50-ish. 50 Alright, so just want to stress 
this is something that takes a long time. It doesn't have to take a long time, but it's easier if it does take a long time for the people who aren't necessarily amazing at drawing. Now, this bit is probably the most difficult step for those people uh, because it's just a bit awkward and a bit of a pain. Uh, but still, it's not too difficult. Uh, so, here we go. We could see the blue outline, and basically, we're just getting a definite shape of things. Like, for example, here, you can see it's just a bit scribbly at the moment. So, I'm just going to neat it up by going over the lines with a nice thick dominating line and there we go that's the shape of that this can go up like that it can come down where it came down and etc 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 and that's his hair like I say it's still not neat but it's just a little bit neater than the one underneath just so you've got the basic shape down so let me just finish this off Right, so that's that done. You no longer need the first draft layer. You can either delete it, or if you don't really want to delete it, you can just hide it away like that. Uh, but I am think I'm finished with that, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. So there we go. This is what you should have. It should still look crap. The lines start to be neat, as you can see. Look, that still looks complete mess. But it's this stage that sort of fixes all that. So we're going to go on to that layer that we've just drawn change the opacity down 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 to about 50 percent let's change that because my OCD is going to explode come on there we go 50 percent 50 right okay and uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to select this tool here the pen tool that's what it is it's just above the text tool this is what this is it's amazing tool it makes drawing not a hassle so let's do it make sure you create a new layer make sure it's above that one and then let's get drawing okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw over the lines by just going like this this to people who can actually draw is just a massive waste of time but I can't really draw it's just a big illusion that I can somehow create on Photoshop which Hopefully now you guys can create. Um, so yeah, there we go. Right, so that's not it. Don't click off it yet. Just go up and then back down the way you came because you're just making the line complete like so. There's probably an easier way to do this, but I can't be bothered to look it up. So I've just been doing this the whole time. For all the icons I've ever done, I've done it like this. It's not too much of a pain, but yeah. And I can understand, by the way, I just want to say that some people's skins are really, really awkward to do. And it's just going to be a nightmare trying to do this. And I don't know, if you follow the tactics what I've showed you, it shouldn't be too bad. Anyways, once you get to the end, you just connect it back up to the first dot that you did. And then it'll create a solid path. And then you can right click, fill path, uh, make sure that's black. And then just click OK. And then that will fill the path and it'll be neat. And it'll look like it's been drawn. Just click enter twice, I think. And then you're good to go. That's the first line done. It looks neat. It looks cool. Moving on to the top bit. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to do everything, hopefully you guys will do the same, and then we'll be at the same spot again, and we'll be on to colouring in our icon, so just let me quickly go through all this. Right, so I just want to go through this bit, this is going to be a problem that a lot of you are going to be like, oh shit, what do we do here? Um, here's what you do, as you can see here, I drew the eye around, but because there's no black line, I can't just turn around and do it, but just turn around anyways go like this all the way around and then connect them up uh, go ahead and fill path double click enter and then you can just zoom in and then just connect them up whilst zoom in it's kind of a awkward way of doing things but it looks fine trust me it looks okay as you can see done there's nothing really 
too noticeable about it. Also, doesn't matter that this is supposed to be a bend. It might look a little bit sharp, corner edgy, but that's fine because it's an icon. Uh, and it looks, it even looks pretty cool when it's big anyways. So it's nothing to worry about. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish. That is a really thick line I did there. I'm going to go ahead and um, just correct that. Uh, like so. Here's, I'll just leave this bit in without editing it out just so you can see what I'm doing. Use the lasso tool. Just click and hold and select this. And it's just point to point, click, sensor, and then just do control and X, and you can thin the line there, like I've just done. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest now, so, woo. Okay, so, I've finished drawing around everything on my little character. Uh, so, I can go ahead and delete the layer underneath. Uh, make sure you're up to date, so, like, pause the tutorial, go and finish everything, and then come back to it once you've done. So here is everything, everything looks cool, and it looks neat, and it looks good, the drawing looks pretty sweet. So, like, yeah, you, yeah, that's, you should be impressed with yourself, because, like, if, if you follow the steps properly, there's no way it should look, like, really, really terrible at this point, it should look pretty good. So, yeah, we need to move on to colouring stuff now. So we need to create a layer, but we need to create it under the first two, like, so the, I don't know what this is going to be called, something like outline, uh, and then we can just call this one drawing. Uh, so all the line, make sure you've got a, just a plain basic layer underneath that. Uh, and then you're going to get your little felt tip colouring pen. Uh, and you're gonna color in so to reference you can go to this little guy uh, Just copy his hair color uh, And then we can just color it in That's what we've got to do we can actually do it a layer underneath the background so it makes color in a little less stressful um, It doesn't matter if you go over the lines just make sure you know what order you're gonna do it in for example I know I'm gonna do the skin after the hair, so it doesn't really matter that I go over the lines because I'll just color over it once I get to uh, um, once I get to doing the skin, anyways. So it's all good. All right. So quickly done. Sweet. Now, um, being as we're on the hair, I'm just gonna quickly go through shading whilst we're on it. So. Shading, you select your little palette here, it'll come up with this, just select a darker colour. You should see the two comparisons, just make it obviously darker. And then you can just paint. This is the fun bit, I'd say. It's just so fun to do if you mess up. All you got to do is undo, and then just go back on it, and you can try again, and again, until you've done it. What I like to sometimes do is make sure this section here... It's all a shade darker anyways, so what you can do is just color this entire section in. Um, I don't know why I'm being careful with the lines. Uh, and then we can just do all the other shady stuff here. Uh, like so. Boom. Uh, just put it places where it might look. Pretty cool. Pretty flesh. There we go. Oh, look. A good tactic to do if you don't really know how to shave. Just shave. Shade. Just to make sure it's all on, like, sort of one side, like I'm doing now. Uh, so all the lines facing that way, if you get what I mean. Uh, hopefully you do. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But, as you can see, they're all diagonal that way. Uh, right. So, uh, I'm going to actually quickly select shade a little bit darker for this bit. Um, and that's like really dark hair now. It's crazy, crazy dark. Uh, nearly done, and done, done. Woo, I'm so proud of myself. In my drawing. So, skin color. Woo! Let's just quickly select the skin color. 
uh, probably that one's best actually uh, and then we're gonna color in the skin and now we need to be a little bit more careful um, around here so let's make sure we are in fact a little bit more careful right so um, give it is fully colored in uh, just gonna go through some of the points that you might find a little bit difficult to shade so the eyes the eyes the pupils just have a little slant here and the shade for the white bit just yeah he goes around the pupil same with this one the nose is thin on the top thick on the bottom uh, the mouth uh, sort of similar it sort of ticks up like that and the little dimple has a little shade if you drew the little dimple um, this bit comes around down along uh, this bit you I just sort of freestyled I did what looked best it's probably not how you're supposed to shade this bit uh, but these bits here this bit and this bit here does need to be a darker shade because it's sort of getting covered up by the arm as you can see there so that needs to be a bit of a dark shade so this is a fun part that's the fun part sort of over now anyways um so this is the next part the next part is the last part <laughs> it's the background of it which is this one should be the one above the coloring something that i like to do by the way is to just untick all the lines it looks a little bit crazy but you can see all your shading sort of in its messy form and then just put the blocks there and it needs it all up which is pretty cool so anyway <laughs> that's just a little thing this here is the color of the background now the background usually has a similar sort of color to the character so the character has a purple face do it sort of a light paley purple like that uh, if it's like a really purple so if I want to do like say his entire body is the color of his eyes I'd probably select that and then just do a bright color like that um, so that's how I choose my colors so this guy he just has a gray top on he's a bit boring so you should really have just that but because I don't want him to have that I'm just gonna give him something random let's say like a nice blue actually kind of what I was on uh, yeah there we go that'll do and that is done that's your character there he is just looking like a complete bamf uh, <laughs> so, yeah. anyways I hope you found this tutorial useful if you struggle on this I do recommend trying the other tutorial it is a lot easier than this one um, in like nearly every single way it's smaller it's got a lot less just tree drawing it's basically tracing on the other one so if you can't do this one if you struggle on this one definitely go check out the other one the other one is a lot easier to do um, another thing if you really really can't do this and you really really want this like I say you have three options to choose from either a empty enter my giveaway if you win you will get your skin drawn for you and I will make a speed art and upload it on my YouTube channel as well so that's that second option go to my website and order one it costs pff, I don't know how much it costs I can't remember but it's not too expensive it's not gonna set you back and let's put it that way it's under a tenner ten pounds that is so you know it's not drastically expensive to purchase and option three ask in the comments which is probably going to be the most popular option to be honest um ask in the comments around see if anybody is kind enough to do them people usually do this and if they can do it they find it really fun to do it and they like doing as many as possible uh, which is what was happening in the other cartoon icon tutorial so with that said thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions just leave a question below um, I will also have a FAQ in it which is frequently asked questions if a question gets I see just is keeps getting asked and asked and asked I'll put it in the description so make sure you check the description because I might have already answered your question 
and it'll be in there so make sure you check that before you comment your question if it's not in there however just feel free to comment it I will try and get back however keeping up with the last video was difficult depending on how popular this video does will depend on how difficult it is to keep up with the questions sometimes however I won't know the answer so don't expect me to just know miraculously how to fix the problem that you're having maybe I don't know <laughs> so there anyways with that said, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!